Hi folks and welcome back to HRD TV. I'm Carrie and this is a channel where we empower people and organizations to amplify their impact. In today's video, we are continuing to talk about HR business partner interview questions and we're going to be focusing on three questions related to using data in HR. We're going to explore why these questions are important and how you can effectively answer them with specific and actionable advice. So let's dive right in. The first question is, give an example of how you use data to solve a complex HR problem. This question assesses your ability to leverage data to address and solve HR challenges. Interviewers want to see your analytical skills and how you translate data insights into actionable strategies. You might answer the question by saying, in my previous role, we noticed a concerning increase in employee turnover rates. I decided to conduct a thorough analysis of exit interview data, employee engagement surveys, and performance metrics. The data reveal that a lack of career development opportunities was a major factor contributing to turnover. Based on these insights, I developed a comprehensive career development program that included mentorship, training workshops, and clear promotion pathways. As a result, our turnover rate decreased by 25% within a year. If you're looking for ways to get experience here, let's imagine that your company is experiencing high turnover. Volunteer to analyze exit interview data and present your findings to the HRBP. You can use this data to suggest actionable strategies to reduce turnover. You might also offer to conduct a survey to identify the root causes of low employee engagement. Analyze the data and present the recommendations to improve engagement, such as implementing new recognition programs or career development initiatives. One final way to gain experience here is to assume your company is facing challenges with recruitment. You can analyze recruitment metrics to identify bottlenecks or inefficiencies in the hiring process. Present data-driven recommendations to streamline and improve the process. Question number two. Describe a time when you had to present data to senior leaders to support your recommendations. This question evaluates your ability to effectively communicate data insights to senior leadership. Interviewers want to see your presentation skills and how well you can use data to support your recommendations. You might answer the question this way. At my previous company, we were facing a high rate of absenteeism. It was impacting productivity. I gathered and analyzed data on absenteeism patterns, identifying key trends and underlying causes. I then prepared a detailed report and presentation for the senior leadership team, highlighting the financial impact of absenteeism and recommending the implementation of a flexible working policy. My data-driven approach convinced the leaders and we implemented the policy, resulting in a 15% reduction in absenteeism within six months. If you don't have experience here, you might gain this experience by assuming your company is facing this challenge. You can volunteer to analyze attendance data and prepare a report for senior leadership. You can use the data to demonstrate the impact of absenteeism and propose solutions, such as the flexible working arrangement or wellness programs. Another way you can gain experience here is if there is a need for a new HR initiative. You can suggest the, welding pro the wellness program. You can gather the relevant data to support your proposal. Create that presentation that includes the benefits and potential ROI of the initiative and present it to senior leadership. Another way is to work on improving an existing HR process, such as performance reviews. You can collect data on current performance review practices, identify areas for improvement, and present your findings and recommendations to senior leadership. Question number three. Can you share an instance where data-driven insights led to a significant change in your HR practices? This question examines your ability to use data to drive meaningful changes in HR practices. And interviewers want to see how you leverage data to make informed decisions that lead to significant improvements. You might answer the question this way. In a previous role, I conducted an analysis of our recruitment data and discovered that our time to hire was significantly longer than industry benchmarks, leading to lost opportunities for top talent. I identified stages in the hiring process that were causing delays and implemented changes such as streamlining the interview process and utilizing recruitment software. These data-driven insights led to a 30% reduction in time to hire and a noticeable improvement in the quality of candidates we were receiving. 
If you don't have experience in this area, you might get it by imagining that your company is struggling with the same situation. You can analyze recruitment data to identify bottlenecks and inefficiencies. You can propose and implement changes to streamline the process, and you can use some of the same ways that I gave in the example, using software to reduce the number of interview rounds. Another way to gain experience is if your company has low engagement scores. You can conduct a detailed analysis to identify the specific factors contributing to this issue. You can use the data to design and implement targeted engagement initiatives, such as team building activities or recognition programs. I hope that you all found these examples to be super helpful. And I want you to remember that your responses will not sound exactly like mine. It's super important to dig through your experience and find examples of places that might align with these examples. And if you don't have the experience, recall the insights that I gave you in this video about how you might go about gaining some of that experience. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one.